Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Microsoft Store is blocked in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to use the Windows Store app's troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on System on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here select Other Troubleshooters and afterwards scroll way down until you find the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter and click on the Run button next to it. Windows will now try to detect any problems and fix them as soon as possible. Another useful solution is to clear the cache for Microsoft Store. To do this, press the Windows plus R key combo to open a run window and then simply type the following command wsreset.exe. Now just press on OK and then wait until the Microsoft Store cache will be cleared out. Afterwards, you can restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to reset the app. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on Apps and Features. Now in here, under the app list, just click on the Search Apps box and simply type in Store. As you can see, one application was found, which is the Microsoft Store. So what you have to do is click on the ellipsis next to it and select Advanced Options. Now in here, scroll down until you find the Reset section and you can start by clicking on the Repair button. In this case, the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't prove useful, you can also reset the application. So click on the Reset button, but in this case, the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Afterwards, restart your PC and check if the issue is solved. You can also enable Microsoft Store from the Group Policy Editor. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type gpedit.msc and then select Edit Group Policy or gpedit from the search results. Now in here, make sure to navigate to the following location. Computer Configuration, then double-click or expand Administrative Templates. Afterwards, choose Windows Components. And lastly, just scroll down until you find the Store section and click on it. Now, on the right side, make sure to double-click on the Turn off the Store Application Policy. As you can see, if the setting is enabled, that means that the Store application is turned off. So what you have to do to turn it on is to select either Not Configured or Disabled. You can then click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Afterwards, restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And lastly, another great solution is to update Windows. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on Windows Update on the left pane. Now on the right side, click on the blue Check for Updates button and wait until Windows will try to find the latest updates for your PC. Afterwards, just download and install them and then restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!